Hi everyone, in this tutorial I'm going over a problem I had with my Blender FPX file in Unity. I couldn't find an answer of why it was happening, so through the struggle I managed to figure out a solution. Here I have MIDI's armature rig in Blender, and I wanted to bring his actions into Unity. To start off, if you can't see your keyframes in Blender, make sure to select an action first. Unfortunately, I applied many rigs and actions to him, and then something got messed up along the way. For this tutorial, I'm going to concentrate on the walk and jump actions as seen in the list. So the number two mentioned here is the number of what they call users of this data. Another way of solving this problem is by clicking on this number and it'll create a separate action. You can rename it later in the drop down and proceed to Unity. I learned this after the fact. The long way I took was doing the following. So I'm going into the armature pose mode. And as you can see here, as we scrub the timeline, it will show MIDI's actions. Going over to Unity, we can see that some of the actions are missing. Let's start with MIDI's jump action. Select it in the menu and press Command A or Control A for PC, depending also how your keyboard is mapped out. So for this action, I had three users. So we're going to select all the keyframes and copy it into a new action. Press the delete button and then click new. If you get this warning, there are no current keyframes to paste into. What I did was create a default pose on the first keyframe by selecting all of his pose bones and clicking S. And now we can right click in the timeline and paste and bring over the other keyframes from the bad action. There we go. We're going to rename the action now and also click the shield icon so Blender keeps it in memory. Now we're going to export the FBX file for Unity. There are many tutorials and in-depth solutions to the export settings, so I won't go into detail. I'm just going to follow some of the instructions that I've seen online. Back in Unity, we can now see our Jump 2 action. Going back to Blender and rinse and repeat with our walk cycle. If you found this solution helpful, please remember to like this video, share and subscribe for more tutorials and 3D models. Thanks for watching, bye for now.